So here in section 8.3, we're going to do some applications for physics and engineering. Uh, the first of which is going to be work. Uh, remember that work is force times distance. If you're talking about a variable force, cap f of x, and your movement is along the x-axis, uh, then we're going to integrate force times distance. So remember that integral is going to add up the small pieces of force times distance as x varies from a to b. So in our example here, we're looking at Newton's law of gravitation. Uh, it states if you have two bodies of mass m and n, they're going to attract each other with a force g m n over r squared, where r is the distance between the bodies and g is the universal constant of gravitation. So um, we're going to use Newton's law of gravitation to compute the work required to launch a 20,000 kilogram rocket vertically to an orbit of 3,000 kilometers. We're going to assume that the Earth's mass is 5.98 times 10 to the 24th and concentrated at the center of the Earth. Uh, simplifying assumption there. Take the radius of the Earth to be 6.37 times 10 to the 6. And then here's that uh, gravitation constant. Uh, units there are Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. So first of all here, um, notice our units here are meters, so we need to change that 3,000 kilometers to meters. So 3,000 kilometers then is going to be, we're going to multiply by 1,000, so that's going to be 3 million meters. Kilometer is 1,000 meters. And that means that our orbit height here of 3,000 kilometers high is going to be added onto the radius of the Earth. Um, so our height of orbit is going to equal the 6, uh, 3, 7, uh, let's see, 10 to the 6, so 6,370,000 6, meters. And then we're going to add on uh, the 3 million meters. So distance from the center of the Earth then is going to be 9,370,000 meters. So then our work here is going to be an integral. Um, we're moving from the surface of the Earth, that is 6,370,000 meters from center. And then we're going to uh, launch that up to a height of 9,370,000. So vertical distance there. And then our force is given by uh, the Law of gravitation, gmn over r squared. And then r here is the distance between the bodies. Um, so we're going to integrate with respect to r. Or if you want, you could change both of the r's to x's here. So r is equal to x. That's our distance. So uh, g and m and n, those are all constants here. We'll put those in in the last step. So G and M and N all come out in front. And we are integrating from 6,370,000 to 9,370,000. And we've got uh, 1 over R squared is left, so R to the negative 2, uh, dr. And then our antiderivative of r to the negative 2 is going to be r to the negative 1 divided by negative 1. Uh, so this will be g m n. And then our antiderivative here, r to the negative 1 divided by negative 1, uh, which is the same thing as bring that r down to the bottom, so negative 1 over r. So why don't we go ahead and write it like that, negative 1 over r. And that is going to get evaluated from the 6,370,000 to the 9,370,000. 
And so now we're ready to go ahead and plug in our constants here. Um, so our g is the 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. M is the mass of the Earth, which is the 5.98 times 10 to the 24th. And let's see, let's actually, let's go ahead and put some units in here, kilograms. Let's put the units in for the constant. which were newton meter squared per kilogram squared. And then N is the mass of the rocket, which is 20,000 kilograms. And then we're going to plug in our 930, 9,370,000 and uh, 6,370,000. So this will be negative uh, 1 over 9,370,000. Minus negative, so double negative makes a positive, plus 1 over, I uh, need one more zero there, 6,370,000. And uh, these are meters here. And so let's see, we've got a uh, kilogram squared here. It's going to cancel with kilograms, kilograms. And then we've got Newton meters squared. And this is um, 1 over meters. So we've got meters in the denominator there. So that meter is going to cancel off. We combine those, we'll have one meter in the denominator, cancels off one of those. And if we do the calculator work here, we will get uh, 4.0096 times 10 to the 11. And then what we're left with is Newton meters, which is joules. So that's uh, 4.0096 times 10 to the 11th joules of work are done in launching that rocket to orbit. So that's pretty cool. Real life now. <laughs>